So I have four parts. I will tell you the story a little bit more uh, introduction about what Allegro actual is. And the second part, I will tell you about our client, our users, because we have two groups, basically, buyers and the sellers. And then I will show you the seller journey on our platform. And of course, I will give you some key learnings from our research and from our studies. And uh, for uh, firstly, I will start with Allegro overview. One year ago, actually, on that um, event, my two colleagues from my team were here and told you the story about Allegro from the perspective of the bias. So I will give you only a few points, because if you want to know more, you can reach for their presentation. It's available on the YouTube. So uh, Allegro is the biggest e-commerce platform in Poland. Actually, we don't have any big competitors. Of course, uh, eBay, Amazon are available in Poland, but they are not supporting Polish uh, market. So we are launched in 1999. We have a lot of uh, registered clients and more than 100 million offers. And just to give you a little bit perspective, Poland is quite small if we compare that to India. So we have like 38 million of citizens. So we have more than half users which are registered to our platform. So we have really big reach. And the other side is that we have a lot of, we have thousands of sellers who are cooperating with us to listing the products and offer their uh, services to a lot of clients in Poland. So we have buyers, and I will not cover that story today because I will, tell, I will focus only on the seller as this is quite of my uh, work and my specialization. So just to give you a little bit um, perspective, if we talk about the buyer journeys, we want to make it as easy as it possible but like we have three main points and uh, uh, right now I don't want to um, tell about the awareness, habits and all of that psychological uh, factors. I will just focus on the behavioral actions on the platform. So we will have uh, only like three steps or if we want to be more specific, we have like five because we need to register, we need to set up some account, then we need to look for some products and in the end, we have some checkout process. But if we're talking about the seller journey, we have much more steps that need to be covered to be uh, a partner of the marketplace or on the platforms. So uh, become, uh, mm, we have registration, account set up, we have creating the office, and we have to do something to be more visible because we have a lot of uh, competitors. We have, offer, uh, we have offer management, so we need to edit uh, some offers or placing the new one. Uh, we also have like some transaction service. Then we have delivery process. And of course, a lot of returns and complaints, which is like big part of being merchant and selling to the customers online. And of course, we have the new products. And it's not um, actually mm, the end of the story, because if we will uh, mm, talk more specifically about creating the offers. It's not only creating the offers because you need to be very, very uh, focused on that because you need to prepare photos. You to need to prepare some kind of description. It need to be very clear and both a little bit sexy just to um, give the people good impression about your product. Then we have to set up some delivery methods and this is the very um, uh, important factor because it depends uh, from the category which are you selling because there are different methods for selling the clothes and shoes and different for selling the cars for example yeah so this is like very tricky and people who have like big assortment with a lot of different products need to figure the uh, figure out a good way for logistic process so it's like a lot of the steps which we need to be covered and to complicate it a little bit more it's not only about the using internal uh, tools. It's also about using external commercial tools or even uh, some uh, merchant seller could set up his own uh, environment and connecting by API with the e-commerce platform, which making that uh, experience even more uh, difficult. And of course, they are like different because of the assortment and products which they are selling, which is also very tricky. So just to compare, we have like two journeys. And if we want to be even more specific with the buyers, like the service is much more complicated. So it's like um, we need to be more 
focus about that and discover a lot of their problems. And um, now I have questions for all of you. I know that most part of that conference are designers, but uh, who ever, I mean like ever conduct any kind of study? Uh, please raise your hand. Okay, so it's quite a few of you. So I want to tell you the story how it's uh, how it looks in Allegro, uh, because uh, I don't want to tell you about the um, research method. It's like a lot of uh, wonderful materials already on the um, internet. I just want to tell tell you about the split I I, I made because we if we talk about the qualitative studies, I think that's the perfect to get uh, the knowledge about the user to build an empathy. If we want to just really deeply understand how users behave and about their motivation, about their needs. It's the perfect methods and I think everyone could use them and no one should be afraid uh, just to reach for that methods. But if we have quantitative and basically if we uh, want to um, have some very important decisions or generalized conclusions, I think that's the perfect methods just to based on the bigger data on the bigger data set. So I think like the qualitative studies are for everyone and this bigger one uh, it's also mm, implicates some kind of responsibility some people need to be aware of that process and aware of that method because there is like a lot of uh, points which we need to be mm, sure about for example the relevant significance of our results uh, so uh, I received uh, this kind of task uh, to Allegro came new CEO, actually previously he worked for Amazon and he said, okay, I don't know anything about the seller, please, uh, please uh, prepare me some kind of report and research with main problems, needs, we just want to design a new strategy for the sellers. So it was quite a good uh, study and we had like the four, uh, all of you probably know the double diamonds and um, levels and steps in designing process. But actually, to make make it a little bit easier, I like mentioned like that we have strategy when we want to um, ask uh, the question what we should do in the future. Then we have like the exploration when we want to actually uh, answer the question what we should do and how. And then we have like testing, monitoring, so, like over again and over again. So we have like all of that steps in that process because we need to not only thinking about that very important business decisions, but also about user problem and usability. So uh, we have like um, four people, four person who work for that project. I was, um, I, I was responsible for, co for coordinating that process, mm, but all of us need to have the his, uh, their own insights for the recommendation because the final product it's supposed to be recommendation what we actually can do for the sellers to make their experience better and also our business bigger because as you know we cannot like split that and uh, talk independently uh, about uh, users without business especially if we talk about the sellers so all of us need to have to share them experience their knowledge and build a recommendation and that was quite uh, tricky because of course, um, at big e-commerce platform, there are a lot of international teams. But the case was that all of us had kind of leading position. So we were like quite strong personalities with our own, uh, mm, uh, with our own departments, and we had uh, we had to uh, be very focused on uh, our daily jobs. Uh, so it was quite uh, challenging to cooperate. Uh, that works, uh, and we had like four four main stages. Firstly, uh, we conduct like desk research, so like starting to uh, getting the knowledge from different departments and it was customer experience, it was not only technology and research team but also marketing, also commerce reports, uh, just to be uh, more into all of that data and have like big uh, picture about our sellers. Then we have like the measuring phase when we use all of that uh, factors and uh, scores like TSAT, like uh, CES, customer effective, uh, mm, uh, and uh, you know that all very standardized method. They all very uh, um, we could uh, give some structure to our data with that, and it was very important. 
uh, but also we have some kind of historical data so we can uh, so we could um, see some changes on quarters and years so we can do some uh, new um, recommendation based on that then we have of course analytics and we have a lot of data on allegro we have data analysts uh, analysts we have uh, data scientists data engineers so it's like a lot of roles which are focusing on data making recommendation and build some algorithms so we had like big scale we had objective data and we used like user behavior patterns so it was quite mm, important for us to have that big perspective which is kind of objective for sure more than qualitative study user testing and interviews so it was very important part for our ceo for the business uh, and for the commerce uh, teams uh, it was all very good and useful i think especially in our mm, task and then we have like the synthesis and we need to prepare the final report and it wasn't very easy because we need to cooperate for different roles then we have like completely different insights we have a lot of knowledge like i i thought that i could read and read over again it was so interesting but it was uh, you know um, a never ending story and we need to stop that process and start to work on the insights and making the results so uh, we were working the real time because we are from different cities we were working on the one presentation one doc in g suit on the slides and uh, finally we set up final report after one and a half month and it was quite good i think we don't had a lot of time we didn't have a lot of time uh, but we uh, actually somehow we did that but you know and we received that message good job yeah it was it is really solid material but something is missing please start over again and that was like the breaking point i was like very angry sad on myself because i'm quite ambitious you know it was like really a lot of hours uh, uh, the late hours uh, to preparing that material, to analyzing, speaking with all of the people, and then we received that message that we need to start again. Of course, we didn't uh, uh, delete all of that work, all of that research, but actually we, we need to start to think again about how to analyze that result and how to build and design that strategy and recommendation. So we did that. Uh, I was like asking and shouting, and now you can see why I'm researcher, not designer. I'm quite very basic with my uh, drawing skills. Uh, so we had, uh, you know, a lot of the data analytics, uh, with CSAT score and PS. We had uh, views, we had heat maps, a lot of that. Uh, of course, we analyzed also our income, and uh, we like split that on Allegro tools, steps. And you know, it, it was all very important. It was kind of objective, like this kind of data is supposed to be good for our CEO and for our CTO or for all of that management. But we are missing that point, why? Because, you know, during that process, actually we didn't do any new uh, qualitative studies, new uh, interviews, new focus groups, because we based on desk research. So we just uh, were, mm, I think, a little bit out of user perspective here because we was thinking about only that objective data, about analyzing a lot of uh, different sources. And I think we were missing that very user point of view. So I think with that strategy, it's like it was very tricky and we supposed to use very different methods and I always thought that if we talk uh, about recommendation for, you know, managers, dire directors, CEOs, like that qualitative, uh, quantitative data will be the best because they're objective and we can like, we have like big scale, big picture. And it's like maybe the easiest and also the best way for making recommendation and, uh, and making decisions. So this is one way. And of course, I think decisions should be based on quantitative data on that big scale uh, and it's supposed to use a lot of different sources but if we're talking about designing strategy it's impossible without qualitative studies about talking with the users 
about meeting with them, about uh, making the connections. Yeah, yesterday actually Nick Nick had uh, uh, exp uh, great uh, talk about making the connections. It's like very important also here that it's impossible to build that good experience without sellers, without talking with them. And you know, this is quite tricky because you know buyers are very happy. Uh, buyers are very engaged into the platforms because they don't have a lot of responsibility which implicates using uh, the platform. Because you know, they bu they buying something, they have say their own uh, credit card and it's like over. But if we talk about the sellers, it's much more complicated because reaching that group is very hard and it's uh, not uh, very uh, easy uh, because you know when we start to speak with them, they usually rate the whole platform, the whole services, and they are really focused about our fee, about the money, because you know they need to share th their income with us because we have su success fee, because they are they had to promote and they pay us for that, because you know we had we have business, so we need to uh, earn the money, and actually it is always the first point when we started to talk with uh, with them, and it's like very um, hard to discover and you know to set up that the whole discovery process because it takes really long time they are very angry usually they're like busy busy uh, they mm, also don't have any time for that any space because they're like feeling very dizzy they have like you know hundreds of thousands of buyers and transaction every single day and they need to uh, manage that and uh, for them also being a part of allegro is uh, duty it's not a fun anymore so you know it's like when they are meeting with us sometimes they have like her own their own list with the problems and needs like okay i want to tell you this and this i want to ask you about that and that and uh, it's really hard to follow the instruction follow the scenario because they actually want to speak not uh, they not very um, standards uh, standardized uh, subject of the study and um, I think here it's like very important that we need to have like an additional time. I have a lot of plans about what we actually want to do with that people because there will be completely different scenario when we are actually meeting them. Because it's not always like we have, okay, do this and this, like please sign uh, or use that tools because they always will talk about the fee, about the final show problems, about AP problems, API problems. So it's like very important to have like different scenario for that uh, interviews, for that meetings, for that studies, as uh, uh, they shouldn't uh, mm, surprise us. So my key learnings are that sellers are as important as buyers. Their life is uh, actually much more complicated and of course, they are like part of our business. We they like sharing with us their incomes. We have like success fee. We have a lot of difference fee for promoting and uh, others. Uh, we need to build an empathy and understanding for that group because this is very important. I think it's like the game changer because it's not only for us as the researchers as technology teams. It's also for business because they can get the like bigger picture and perspectives and. Um, I think it's impossible to improve uh, marketplace experience without the sellers because if we uh, do something which should be make life easier for the buyers, probably the cost is in the sellers group because it's like vanishing to the air. Someone needs to cover that actions and uh, both it could be the platform, it could be an allegory commerce platform and it or it could be uh, a seller. So sometimes they are like the cost is for on their sides. Uh, and I have like the few sensation here, like people actually don't use products because they look great, because uh, but they are like focus on the um, results about uh, solving their problems, about uh, addressing their needs. So it's not like okay, this is like beautiful UI. They actually use some of uh, some tools because uh, we like addressing their needs, their desires, or their problems. And if we will not address that, if we will not find a solution, probably they will manage another way. So if we will not uh, 
uh, make a recommendation and conclusion from the meeting with them, probably they just uh, change the platform and they will go to the another place because people always will figure it out how to sell and how to actually react. Uh, and I think that one of the most UX uh, powerful tool is uh, empathy, especially for this kind of users because they are not uh, very easy, because it can build a bridge between commerce, business, expectations, and uh, user experience. I think it's like the game changer. Sometimes we are doing like something like shadowing, and people from commerce can go to the place where the seller is selling to see how logistic process looks like, how they pack their packages, how they meeting with the uh, delivery uh, partnerships. And uh, actually it's like very important, like, like building empathy and showing that other perspective is like very game changing, especially in the very dynamic business because you know, e-commerce and marketplace platforms are focused on earning the money. So sometimes there is like temptation that business is uh, a little bit, it's important, and it's very uh, important to show them the perspective of the user, especially the seller. Uh, and the uh, third one, we are not talk talking about the interfaces, about the platform, but also about the whole service. So it's like service design, not only UX design, because we cannot speak and we cannot uh, speak with them about uh, only their problems with the products. It's always about the business, about the service which is behind that. And we it's like maybe a little bit hidden, but we should be focused on this and we should remember because you know it's not any more user experience. If we talk about the selling, about the merchants, about the marketplaces, it's about whole service uh, uh, design. Okay, so thank you very much. It was very nice to speak to you.